Good afternoon and welcome to Boise State University. Today I'm dressed in my academic regalia because I want you to understand what a momentous event this is. You are embarking on your college experience. This is an extraordinary time for you. And what I wanna do in the few minutes I have with you today is give you what I think is some of the best advice that I can to take you forward into your college career. Carol Dweck is a researcher from Stanford University. She spent 30 years asking the question, how do we understand why some people get themselves back up when they fall down? Where, where does that grit come from? Is there an inherent quality? And what she discovered was an extraordinary thing. It wasn't about something that people were born with. It was about mindset. Folks either had a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. So what I wanna share with you today are the basic concepts of growth mindset to help you succeed during this important college experience in your life. The first idea in growth mindset is that your intelligence is not fixed. Many of you have probably been told since you were very young that you were good at some things and not good at others. And most of us believe that. I was told that I wasn't good at math, but by the time I was in college, I was tutoring calculus. If you believe those stories that you are told about your intelligence, oh, you're not good at that right now, therefore you'll never be good at that, then you won't grow to your full capacity. Your intelligence can be developed and can grow over the course of your lifetime. And here's how. You've got to embrace challenges. Instead of taking the easiest path, don't be afraid to jump in and try. Sometimes when students are very successful in high school, they become accustomed to being so, finding everything so easy and being so good at everything that they don't take the intellectual leaps. What I'm going to do today is challenge you to take those intellectual leaps. Every single person who has been successful has had failures and stumbles. I could tell you dozens that I've had. You have to simply learn from them. It's not about not having them. It's not about avoiding them. It's about learning from them. So instead of thinking, I don't ever want to risk getting anything but the best grade, the safest grade I can get on this paper, I want you to think, I'm going to dive in and try to learn from this experience. She also advises that people with a growth mindset persist in the face of setbacks. When you get knocked down, get back up again. What we know is that when people get knocked down and they think to themselves, I'm just not cut out for this, that's what precedes failure. It's not the fall that is the failure. It is the belief that you cannot get back up. And we've got incredible people to help you move your success forward. Our faculty and staff are here to help you. I want you to know that a setback doesn't mean that you don't belong. A setback doesn't mean that you're not cut out for college. You belong here. You were chosen to be here. But there are going to be challenges. There will be times when you stumble. That doesn't mean you will fail. Pick yourself back up. Dust yourself off. Find support with your peers and your friends. Reach out to the faculty and staff. They will help you get back on track. The fourth thing she identifies is seeing effort as a pathway to mastery. Sometimes people think, if I have to struggle, I'm just never going to be good at this. If you see that struggle as a part of the learning process, it changes the way you see it. It helps you understand that the brain is like a muscle. In the same way that, that bodybuilders work to actually injure muscle by building it just enough to tear those fibers, by working it just enough to tear those fibers so that the muscle grows back stronger, you can help your brain grow in ways that strengthen it by taking on those challenges. And when you see working hard as a part of the process of becoming successful, you will be more successful. Needing to employ effort does not mean that you're not cut out for those challenges. It's an opportunity to learn and grow. She challenges you to learn from criticism. A lot of times people cringe when they get negative feedback. Here's a way you can improve. If your English professor or your chemistry professor has a critique of your work, take it as an opportunity to learn. Learn to read the criticism 
as a way to step up to your next level. I had a colleague once ask me early in my career, how do you publish so much? And I said, well, I just keep sending things out. And she said, but when you get the feedback, doesn't it hurt? Well, sometimes it does. We are humans after all. But when you read the feedback and then you can learn from it and take it as an opportunity to grow, you can make your work even better. So I would make my work better and send it out again. And as a consequence, I became more confident over time. Finally, Carol Dweck urges you to be inspired by the success of others. So instead of feeling downtrodden or disappointed if you see somebody else have an extraordinary success, be inspired by them. Look at them and try to learn what they've done to find their way on that path. See them as role models instead of competitors. In this world, you have an opportunity to grow in your unique way, but the more you can learn from others around you, the better chance you have of being successful. And the more you see all of these challenges as opportunities, the more likely you are to thrive. We want you to take this next big step with a growth mindset. Welcome to Boise State and congratulations. Hey everyone, welcome to the Boise State campus. And you may be taking some classes from home, but you need to know that the campus is where you are because we're here to support you and to provide you with what you need to be successful. This is going to be a fall semester unlike any that we've experienced before. We're fired up, we're ready, and we're going to make this a fall semester unlike any that we've experienced before. Best wishes and take care. We are Broncos. Hey Broncos, welcome to Boise State. Convocation is about coming together. We have all come together to help you realize your passions. By the way, we got this covered. Let's go, Broncos! Welcome back to the fall 2020 semester, Broncos. Let me be the first to assure you, you are not supposed to have this all figured out. In fact, let me tell you a secret, none of us do. We are going to make mistakes and that's okay. And this semester is going to look different, but who's to say that that has to be a bad thing? We may not be able to control our circumstances, but we can control our efforts and our mindset. So please remember to reach out when you need help, find the things that bring you joy, give yourself just a little bit of grace, and let's conquer these new and different things together. Go Broncos. Hello and welcome to Boise State. We are so excited to get started this fall. And one thing to know, Boise State faculty are here for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you need help. Welcome and we are gonna have a great year. Hey Broncos, if you're new to Idaho, welcome to our beautiful state. You'll find a community of strong, resilient innovators just like you. You've come to the right place. Undergraduates and graduates and colleagues from all across campus that are ready to tackle tough problems. And so welcome, Broncos. I'm looking forward to learning with you. Have a great semester. We are living through historic times and facing historic challenges. And there's a lot about this situation that is new and exceptional and extraordinary. Um, but it's nothing new for Boise State to face challenges. After all, the school was founded in the middle of the Great Depression. I know we can get through this, and I look forward to one day teaching the history of how Boise State not only survived, but thrived during these historic times. This is a year unlike any other, but one thing remains unchanged. Faculty are here to support you. Welcome to our community. Hola, Broncos! Oi, Broncos! Bienvenidos, bienvenidas y bienvenides de vuelta. Bienvenidos, bienvenidas y bienvenides de vuelta. Es cierto que en nuestro Departamento de Lenguas Mundiales... Es cierto que en no nuestro Departamento de Lenguas Mundiales... Hablamos muchos idiomas. Falamos varios idiomas. Pero compartimos el mismo sentimiento. Mas compartilamos un mismo sentimiento. Les extrañamos, y mucho. Temos muitas saudades vossas. Estamos aquí, estamos listos, así que échenle ganas. Estamos aquí, estamos prontos, então força, Broncos! Hello, and welcome to Boise State. 
I am so glad you're here. The world is constantly changing, and we faculty are still here to help guide you so you can pursue your dreams, your passions, and your ideas. I believe in you, and we need you to speak up, to please create new things, and please make new things. I hope that you also make space for you to be you. Thank you for being here at Boise State, and I look forward to working with you. Hello Broncos, welcome or welcome back. My name is Aaron Dillenbeck. I'm one of the supervisors for the Department of Public Safety. I'm standing next to one of over 75 blue light phones here we have on campus. This is just a quick reminder that help is just a button push away. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great year. Hi, this is head football coach Brian Harson. With unprecedented times comes unprecedented opportunity. And that's what makes you, the incoming class of 2020, so special. Boise State's a special place. As a graduate of the College of Business and Economics, I credit a great deal of who I am today and the opportunities I've had to being a Bronco. Take advantage of all this university and its blue turf thinking ways has to offer and know these crazy times we're having, they will pass. Welcome to Boise State and I can't wait to see you all in the blue when the time comes for us to be able to do that. Have a great semester and go Broncos. In the wise words of my favorite author, Dr. Seuss, I will teach you in a room. I will teach you now on Zoom. I will teach you in a house. I will teach you with my mouse. I will teach you here or there. I will teach you because I care. Go Broncos. Hello, new students. Welcome to Boise State, where we get to wear masks and faculty are wearing their regalia every day. Have a great year. Hi, I'm Michal and I'm the faculty in residence for the Honors College. Hi, I'm Grace. Hi, I'm Ryan, and, and we're, we're the, the RAs for the fifth floor honors. honors. Welcome, welcome to, to Boise State. State. Be ready for a great adventure and welcome to the Boise State community. Have a great semester. Welcome to Boise State. Let's have a safe and great year. Hey there, my name is Angel Cantu. I'm your student body president. I'm so glad you could be here with us today at Boise State. I want to share some advice with you before you start your college journey. This advice will help you make the most of your time here at Boise State. My first piece of advice is value the experiences you have outside the classroom as much as experiences you have inside the classroom. Don't focus so much on academics that you forget to experience life. Some of the most defining moments of my time here at Boise State happened outside the classroom. Don't get crazy with it because your academics still matter and are still important, but try to find that balance. My second piece of advice is meet new people. I'm so thankful to have met so many amazing people during my time here at Boise State, and they've all lent a hand in who I've become today. Um, so get out there, find new friends in your classes or even in the city, um, and I promise you, you won't regret it. Another great way to meet new people is to get involved, which is my next piece of advice. Go out there and get involved on campus and off campus. This may help you discover a new hobby or passion that you might never have thought of. Um, for me, that passion was student government, which has unlocked so many opportunities for me and I will forever be grateful for my time in ASBSU. And during your time here, I want you to all know that ASBSU is a resource for you, for all students. And if you ever have any questions or concerns, please reach out and ASBC will address them. Thank you, good luck, and welcome to the Bronco family. A lot about our world has changed. We're here to change the world. And at Boise State University, everybody wears a face covering. And is practicing physical distancing. It's just what Broncos do. Because we are a community. We want to be here. I wear a face covering because I care about you. We wear a face covering because we care about the community. It's not just about me. It's about all of us. We all want to stay on campus and stay healthy, and that'll take all of us to do that. We've got this covered. We are Broncos. All right, Blue Thunder, here we go. Set.